All right, this is Chris with Advanced Nutrients. Today we're going to be going through the germination process. We're going to be starting with seven different varieties. We're going to be filling up this tray. This is probably the easiest way to do this. And by doing this, we start with cups of water and the seeds. All right, let's get growing. First thing we got to do is take the seeds out of the pack and then we're going to be soaking these seeds for 24 hours. There's our seeds, nice airtight container, keep them fresh. It's always important to store your seeds properly or they will go bad. Dump them right in. Let these soak for 24 hours. By doing this, the seeds will soften up and it'll be easy for them to start germinating. Speeds up the process, makes it really easy for you guys. There's another method of using a paper towel, but I've always had this work the best for me. Always important to always label everything because when you're doing seven different genetics in the same tray, everything needs to be labeled. If not, you're gonna mix everything up and not know what's what. All right, so now that our seeds are soaking in the water, we're gonna let them sit overnight for about 24 hours until they all start to open up. And then we're gonna be putting them into the tray. All right. So now that the seeds have been soaking for 24 hours, we're gonna be able to start putting them into the tray, into the cubes. Always important to label everything you're doing. You gotta know exactly what's what. Then you just push it right into the little hole that's already into the medium there. They come with a little pressed hole you want to push them in about an eighth of an inch or so. This makes it really easy. All right, so now that we have our seeds transplanted into the tray, we're going to put it into the propagation room where the temperature is 80 degrees and 70% humidity. This is going to allow these plants to go into the proper process by following these easy steps, you're going to be able to germinate your own seeds very easily and very successfully. This is the most simple process of doing this. You can buy one of these trays at your local hydro shop. They already come pre-moistened. You gotta check the moisture level. If they're too dry, you're gonna need to add a little bit of moisture. I like to put a little bit of moisture in the bottom of the tray just to ensure that we're gonna have the right amount of humidity coming up and keeping these nice and wet. You don't want them overly wet or they won't root as well. And it's not gonna be as good of a end result. All right. So it's been seven days since we put the seeds in. And as you can see, we're already looking really good. We've got a really nice germination rate. We're really getting going here. Everything's popping. We're about a week away from transplanting these into a four inch pot where we'll let them grow before they go into a bigger pot. But we're pushing about 200 PPFD on our Apogee meter here. So as you can see, they don't need a ton of light to get going. It's more about the environment, keeping it nice and warm and humid. And they're just gonna take off and they're gonna do their thing. At this point, we're not gonna introduce any more nutrients to them until they dry out. And then we're gonna go with a really low PPM. And once we transplant them, you know, we'll step it up to a little bit of a higher PPM. We'll keep the PPM around 500. We'll keep it around a one EC, and then we'll step it up from there. But as you can see, everything's nice and healthy. We already got roots coming out of the bottom of the tray. 
fun things you can do to pop your own seeds and, and, and start from scratch like this. It's a really good way to learn the whole process. It's how you're gonna find all the genetics that you really wanna keep and, and you're gonna find stuff you don't like. It's a big process. You know, certain success rates you're gonna see with feminized seeds or with regular seeds. Regular seeds, you're gonna be having to start doing, you know, testing to male, female. There's certain ways to do that. We're gonna show you as soon as the plants start growing more, we'll start showing you the differences. But yep, that's it. Seven days, boom, seven more days, we're gonna transplant these. Seven more days after that, we're gonna start seeing a lot more development. So come along for the ride and we'll show you everything.